Hello Aquarians, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in April, the last week. In April, this reading will be for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate, with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading, and you want to be supportive to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit the thumbs up image to help the video circulate for something more private, more detailed, and more specific to your situation, the link to the email address for personal readings will be posted in the description box below. I do have openings for the month of May. So if you would like to schedule a personal reading for the month of May, click the email address in the description box and we will get you scheduled for your reading. Okay. All right. I just have to get this card. It fell on the floor. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. I'm seeing someone here trying to be in control, wanting to balance out a situation. This person may be given to multiple people, may need to put an end to something from the past in order to have this two of cups with you or you, them. Remember, this is tarot, so energies can be vice versa. This could be an Aries or in a Scorpio. However, someone here, either you or your person, whomever it is in your heart space or the person you are thinking about when you are hearing this reading someone here is strategically coming up with a plan to balance out the relationship between you two however needing to put something to an end from the past in order to have this two of cups with you in order to have this give and take reciprocity this um equal or um balance love this could be a dynamic of an interracial relationship this could be um one person may be lighter than the other um someone may be wearing a mask not truly showing how they really feel but I, i'm just seeing someone strategically planning to get away or to move away from someone else could be a third party situation. Someone may be needing to um, move or someone may be thinking about moving or transitioning to another area. Traveling to another area. Someone may be traveling. Um, I'm seeing a white, gray, black, gold, tannish car. Someone's initials may start with a T, A, O, or an O. Um, Someone may be gambling. I'm seeing a gambler here. However, I see that something may co be coming to an end. Someone is waiting for something to come to an end so that they can travel towards the person that they are passionate about. Okay? Comment in the comment section below and let me know if this is you or your person. Yeah, someone feels like they have been patient. They are being patient and they just want balance in this relationship. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Aries energy here. Scorpio's energy is here as well as Gemini. Someone is carrying a lot of responsibilities. Someone has um, some weight or someone is feeling overwhelmed, weighed down, feeling like they're carrying the weight of the world on their back because they want to move on someone here wants to move on from a player or wants to move forward but something here 
something during this um travel is taking too long to get to their love something here is taking too long let's see what else is here what other energies are here okay aquarius this is your energy okay so this may have something to do with the third party um but someone is hoping trying to um gain some type of clarity and enlightenment about a third party that's what i'm seeing so this could that's the energy that i was picking up so let's see what else is here yeah see something is not moving forward because of another energy someone is hoping that a relationship like they can have this um celebration with their person but it's not moving could be, be either because of a cancer with the chariot in the reverse yeah cancer pisces energy someone is not listening to their higher self not listening to their intuition and this is why things are stuck and someone is left here feeling alone feeling like they're putting all this work in the situation and it's not going anywhere because someone's not listening to their intuition okay could be a cancer or a pisces i'm seeing someone here feeling wounded feeling like they're they they put they're working putting on all this work they're up working on this alone someone here is feeling tired and i feel like this someone here wants to come up with a, a plan some type of um formula which will allow the two people involved to go to the next level in the relationship okay this is what's on this person's mind so i feel like a conversation needs to take place or it will take place it's a conversation of where is this going how are we going to achieve this two of cups libra's energy is here with the justice card yeah there's balance here but something is very much stuck someone's not able to give as much as the other person wants and i feel like reflection needs to take place okay Someone here needs to reflect on what they really want, who they really want. I feel like someone here is showing two sides of themselves. Being two-faced is what I'm seeing. One way around one person and another way around someone else. Someone here may be walking away or thinking about walking away. Yeah, I'm seeing someone here walking away because they feel like they're being ignored. Yep. Someone here is feeling ignored, feeling like they're in the dark about something, feeling like their person has secrets, and I see someone walking away. Could be from a Cancer or a Pisces. Someone is, is deep in their emotions. They know their worth. They know what they bring to the table. Okay. Someone may be um, also, I'm seeing someone meditating or burning candles and incense, coming into themselves, focusing on their finances. I'm seeing someone focusing on their finances. Wondering if something will ever change in this union. Okay. And many people will say, oh, why are, are the, re the um, readings always about relationships? That's the way the cards come out. I do see someone um, thinking about work or thinking about their money. But this is more so geared to a relationship. And again, someone is wondering why this relationship is not going anywhere. It could be because someone may be working on. Someone may be overworking as well I'm, from what I'm seeing. But I'm seeing someone here is um, there are multiple people involved. Someone is manifesting clarity. Could be done with a Gemini, Virgo, or a Taurus. But I'm seeing someone here 
like knowing their worth they know their value know what they bring to the table this person is um very intuitive but someone here has a secret okay there's a secret here a secret about a third party and I feel like someone here is manifesting clarity. Like someone here is maybe asking friends, asking family for advice about a third party because clarity is, yeah, definitely a third party. We have the three of um, pentacles, the three of swords, and the three of cups. There's going to be some heartbreak in the immediate future about a third party. And I feel like someone's clarity is coming out. There's going to be some type of change within a third party. Someone's going to walk away, close the door, and throw the key away. And someone's going to be left feeling hurt, deceived, um, defeated. Because someone may be put out of a home. Yeah. This could have something to do with the uh, Pisces as well. But I'm seeing someone is... Things are stuck right now. Because clarity needs to come forth. Everything in the dark will come to the light and i see someone here is making a decision to to um go towards someone's making a decision or someone here has options someone here has options i'm seeing leo's energy is here Okay, so I see a union being stuck because someone has multiple options. Could be with a fire sign involved, a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, specifically Leo's energy with that lion. Oh, yeah, and definitely with this um, sun card. I feel like someone is going to get, get clarity about a wish fulfillment. Like someone is their wish fulfillment. It's, that's what I'm seeing. Someone is like a hidden treasure. Yeah. And if someone is single, someone here is a hidden treasure or someone has some money. Someone here is single. Someone's dealing with someone that is single. And this person has money or something like that. Yeah. Queen of Wands. That represents a mistress. And someone wants a second chance. Someone wants a second chance with a third party or someone is committed to a third party. There's a second chance with a third party. There's a lot going on, Aquarius. <laughs> what is going on? Someone is giving a committed person a second chance. Comment in the comment section. Please let me know what's going on with this one. This is, uh, it seems like a lot going on here. What other energies are here? What else is here for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay. Okay. So I'm seeing some type of arguing, bickering, and fighting taking place within a family or a committed relationship. And someone here is full of regrets. Someone is feeling disappointed. There's some dis type of disappointment within a family dynamic because someone here has something else going on in another relationship. Yeah, someone has started over in another, and, it, and it's the third party. Someone has given someone else a second chance. Yeah, it took a long time to come back around, but it's here. And now someone is juggling, spying on the other person. Someone is um, asking family and friends about what's going on with their person. I, I'm not going to pull any more cards. That's, that's what it is. Someone's in a third party situation and it's going to come to light. That's what I'm saying. This third party is going to, someone's going to find out about a third party. It's going to, um... That's what it is. Because someone may have, um, I don't know why I'm hearing a private detective or something like that. Someone may have a private detective or hired a private detective or they're acting like a private detective. 
Yeah. Someone is in a codependent relationship. I feel like the relationship is um is toxic. Someone here in a committed relationship. There's a snake in this relationship. If you are in a committed relationship and you are a snake or your person is a snake, someone is not showing their hand at what they're going to do. I feel like someone is going to walk away from this. Someone is going to find out that their person is toxic and they're going to make healthier choices and walk away. Yeah. Because someone here is getting advice from family and friends. That maybe someone wants to be single or someone is speaking about being single with family and friends because they want to have fun or go towards someone else. They are, someone here is ready to move on with someone that they like or they have strong feelings for. They're trying to grow a, a situation somewhere else from what I'm seeing. I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarius. This is your reading for her. The last week in April, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.